Good afternoon. Today, John the Baptist continues to challenge us to prepare a way for the Lord in our hearts, in our lives, and in our world. Our preparation must include lowering the mountains of our pride and stubbornness, filling in the valleys of apathy and the wounds we have caused ourselves and others, and making straight the paths we have twisted by our lies and sinfulness. Only then will the glory and goodness of God be revealed to us. Please remember to silence your cell phones so that we can worship God without distraction. Thank you. The celebrant and preacher for this Mass is Father Francis. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear, who joyst he just he man you well shall come to me, O Israel. O come thy wisdom from on high, who orderest all things mightily to us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her way to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. The Lord be with you. Wait, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to celebrate these Advent mysteries, the second Sunday of Advent, let us call to mind our sins. Jesus, you are the Lord who comes to save the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you will make the glory of your voice heard. Joy in the joy of your heart. Christ, have mercy. And you break the chains of sin and death and you free your people, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance in his company who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. 
speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The ragged land shall be made a plain. The rough country, a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up unto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice. Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here, here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the youth with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, Lord let, let us see, see your kindness, kindness and, and grant, grant us, us your salvation. salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, Lord let us see Lord, your kindness and grant yes, us your, your salvation. salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, Lord let us see your kindness and grant yes, us your, your salvation. salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire? But according to his promise, 
we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, he will prepare your way, a voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John, the Baptist, appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all of the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to meet him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. <coughs> John was clothed in camel hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And, thus, and, and this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. My beloved brothers and sisters, the Holy Gospel of the Lord. What a beginning of the gospel today. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. People who heard this proclaimed to them for the, in the very beginning of the uh, uh, proclamation of the gospel according to St. Mark must have uh, sat up straight and listened attentively to what was being said and Mark, who is our uh, guide during these four weeks of Advent and during the other um, 48 weeks or so of the, of the whole liturgical year, taking us all the way to the end of next November, um, St. Mark has written the shortest of the Gospels. And it is packed with announcing this joy and Jesus his uh, who he is and his miracles and the 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 uh, history of his passion and his death and resurrection will be related to us and it is fresh it, it, there is an immediacy of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, and we want to uh, read it carefully and hear it carefully. So St. Mark, he doesn't waste words. He has very uh, well crafted this 
introduction to a messenger, a messenger named John the Baptist. Now, um, the Hebrew word for messenger was um, Malachi or something, Malachi, and there was a prophet named Malachi. So is the name of that prophet means the messenger. And uh, so St. Saint, um, Saint, uh, Mark, he tells us, Behold, uh, this is from Isaiah the prophet, um, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. So he states this very quickly. And then, you know, what will this messenger do? He will prepare your way, a voice of one crying out in the desert. Oh, we just heard that from Isaiah in the first reading. Comfort, comfort my people, for your God is coming. Like a voice calling out in the wilderness. He is a good shepherd. He will take the ewes. He will c carry them close to his bosom. And the sheep will be at peace and will feel protected around him. So um, how is this John uh, preparing us to meet this good shepherd? Um, John appears in the desert. <clears throat> and here in California, we know about deserts. Um, there are um, major deserts east of here. And if this place um, didn't have so many um, uh, streets, freeways, and um, uh, gardens, we'd probably um, call places around here a desert as well. Um, but then we wouldn't live here either. Um, we'd move out someplace else, like um, San Bernardino or something. But anyway, um, but the, the desert, the desert is a place of, of um, severe extremes, extreme hot, and then in the cold wind, extreme cold. You, you need to have the skill to be able to survive, and not only survive, but to live and thrive in the desert. The native peoples who were here before the Spaniards came, uh, they, uh, they knew how to live in the deserts here. So John he has learned how to live in the desert, in the Judean desert. And, um, and he goes to the River Jordan. And John has very carefully picked this place, the River Jordan, because in the days of Moses, the people of Israel had wandered through the desert for 40 years, and Moses died, and jo Joshua then leads them to the banks of the Jordan River, and it is their entrance into the Holy Land. And that is the place where St. John the Baptist baptizes people. Um, he's uh, announcing to the Jewish people a time to be uh, to be repentant for their sins and to declare themselves um, uh, on God's side as God guides the people to the revelation of the next stage of the history of the world. Auspicious um, introduction to John the Baptist and then coming very quietly will be Jesus we're not going to hear about the baptism of Jesus, which is the continuation of this chapter in St. John. We won't hear about that until January for the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. Right now, we're just meeting John the Baptist. So we have two Sundays where we hear about this man, John. How, do, how are we doing living in this desert of covid the uh, difference of our lives living in this time has really challenged us. Uh, people have lost jobs. There uh, are family members that you haven't been able to see because they can't travel or you're not allowed to see them without wearing a mask or you have to see them only on Zoom or um, the, you know, talk to them over the phone. And the challenge of that is very, very heavy. And we don't really have, they didn't have the tools to know how to live 
in the land of COVID in a world that was COVID right away. Um, now we've learned how to live stream. Uh, let me say hello to the people watching on live stream. Hello, parishioners on live stream. And um, we didn't know how to do that. Uh, I've learned how to turn on the uh, uh, live stream now. So um, I've that's something I've learned uh, learned to do. It's not as um, important as um, eating locusts and wild honey or something, but um, not as biblical. But in any case, you know, we've learned new skills, and um, and also, you know, we wonder what is next. You know, is who is leading us out of uh, out of this? And we're looking for a shepherd who will gently pick up the ewes with care and hold them in his bosom and uh, gather us. Uh, at, uh, through this, through this crisis. So, uh, Advent, Advent, a time that calls us to be patient, that uh, calls us to be alert and looking forward to the coming of the one who has come that our sins may be forgiven. He has come to bring the announcement of peace, a new quality of existence uh, for all those who will call him Lord. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The God who sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for Jesus rules with a strong arm and listens with a tender heart. With confidence, we come before him with all our needs this day. For the world's leaders and peoples, that we prepare the way of the Lord by striving for peace and lifting up the downtrodden, we pray to the Lord. For countries and cities torn by strife, that worldly pride may be brought low and that valleys of despair be filled with reconciliation, healing, and God's justice. We pray to the Lord. For those who will suffer times of defeat, oppression, disappointment, anxiety, or fear that their moments of darkness will be overcome by love, hope, joy, and peace in the presence of God, we pray to the Lord. 
during this Dominican month for peace, we continue to pray for the Dominicans working in the Ukraine in the midst of military conflict, oppression, and the displacement of many thousands of, of Ukrainians in their sixth year war of independence. We pray to the Lord. For Aureliano G. Coronel, for the repose of his soul, whom we remember in a special way at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. For the intentions written in our book of prayer and for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord our God, make low the mountains of our pride and stubbornness. Fill in the valleys of our weakness and weariness and make straight your path to our hearts. Comfort us, your people, in our need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Spirit and dry hearts, may our sacrifice be acceptable to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord God, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we, we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 
holy, holy, Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving thanks, he broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving the thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially at this Mass. We remember Aureliano Coronel. And for all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who were pleased, who, who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And to you here present and to all those watching on live stream, turn to one another and offer a sign of the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We say together the prayer of um, the act of spiritual communion. Oh, here it is. I found you. Together, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The announcements are that this Mass next week will be at four. So um, that will, and that will go also for the Sunday evening Mass will be at four. Until how long? Well, probably till it starts to get light again. Um, so that, um, and that could take till March or something like that. So um, now Tuesday, the day, um, in two days, December 8th is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Normally it is a holy day of obligation for Catholics. However, because of the pandemic, this obligation to attend Mass has been removed. Um, the only public Mass to be offered that day will be at 8 in the morning, 8 o'clock. There will also be Masses live streamed, only live on live stream at 10 o'clock and 12 noon and 6 p.m. And, they, uh, and those will be in English. And then at 6.30, <laughs> we'll get through that 6 o'clock one fast, 6.30 in Spanish. Uh, number two, don't forget our bilingual Advent Parish Retreat. It's available on our website, and it features music, beautiful imagery, and a short reflections. You can watch it anytime. It's continual. Just go online and, and dive in. Number three, the Hispanic community invites all parishioners to attend the festivities on Saturday, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Oh, let me see here. So this Friday, there will be a virtual prayer service from 6 o'clock till 8 o'clock in the evening, in the Sunday evening, I mean, um, Friday evening. And there will also be an all-night virtual vigil, vigil of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament from 9.30 until Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Then on Saturday at 6 a.m., there will be a virtual prayer service with music dedicated to Our Lady of Guadalupe. So we're moving mañanitas to online, virtual mañanitas. Um, the public Mass will be offered at 11 a.m. Uh, here, at this, in this uh, area, in this place. Please register on our website or call the parish office to reserve a space for the Mass. The Mass will be followed by a procession of cars. Get in your lowriders. And um, uh, there will be a, a, an honor of Our Lady, at, and that will be at, at the altar at the church's main parking lot. And that will be approximately 12.30. Well, that would be just fun just doing that. So, um, okay, any questions? Good. Uh, the Lord be with you. The peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. O oh, come, O oh, come, the Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's hide. In ancient times did give the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.